this kind of proposed amendments are not entertained at all because of the nature and implications. So that's why I've guided you. You are worried about my not smiling. Today is not a smiling day, so don't be surprised the speaker is not smiling. I want to get this work done. Mr. Speaker, I need to emphasize here that I am withdrawing them as a result of my respect for the chair and the chair's directive that these, of course, that, that these are not supposed to be part of the bill as they do not become part of the foundation of what we are doing. Mr. Speaker, however I disagree, I have no trouble. Speaker, I was expecting the deputy leader to take a cue from you that where we have reached, we are guided by Order 171 and more importantly now Order 170 in the second constitution stage of this bill. What he is seeking to introduce probably is abandoning the primary objective even of the custodial sentence. And it's tried now that when you are in prison, two objectives are to be achieved, rehabilitation and reformation. You need not provide for it. It's the primary duty of every, the prison administration of Ghana are schooled enough, Mr. Speaker, I used to be in the social administration department of the society. Rehabilitation and reformation are the core objectives of the prison service. So you need not guide them through legislation what to do. Once you are in there, regrettable as it may be, it will take a natural course. So deputy leader, abandon it. Maybe Mr. Speaker, many of our colleagues must go to your assistant ruling on when you refer to some ruling on Article 108, as a person presiding, you made a definite pronouncement on this matter, where you were conclusive that some of the costs are incidental costs. We don't need to go that way. So, Deputy Leader, we draw it and we'll make uh, progress. But probably our colleagues, our colleagues must reread your ruling on 108 as you did to guide this House and guide the executive, thank you. There's a lot of guidance to the speaker by experts before it is finally admitted to be on the order paper. And members need to be versed with these processes so that when it comes to this stage, we don't take the house backwards. So I direct that the proposed process as mentioned by the Deputy Majority Leader be withdrawn as stated.